Uh, welcome to video number two from today's stream. We're playing a, a league with no-nonsense amulet. Uh, we're not trying anything cute today. We're simply just playing real cards. Every single card here is actually very good. Uh, I guess I guess with the current list, it's not that that the cards are bad. It's just that you know it's it's kind of like a pet pet deck of mine. It's like a pet deck ver a pet version of a pet deck of mine. Let's put it that way. And by the way, thank you Asgard so much for that uh, subscription for the third month in a row. And g glad that you can finally check the the deck list live with the with the extension. Welcome back. And thank you for the support. The difference between this list and mine is minus one forest, minus one sage, plus one EE, plus one grazer. Uh, I think that the main deck sage is actually quite important. Um, usually our e-tron matchup is extremely good. And the only way that we lose is if, if we get... Um, if we get like Karn, Great Creator... Minus for the uh, snare and bridge. So having like just as a one-off, just having an out to that to that scenario is has felt very very nice. Uh, minus one forest for one explosive. That's that's fine. I, I don't disagree with that. It might it also might might be nice to add the other the other extra the extra cyborg slot, which you can use for something else. Uh, main stage is just for Tron and Wirsa, maybe, yeah, mainly, uh, but you also had like random side effects uh, that are kind of nice. Oh, I'm, I'm sneeping this like there's no tomorrow. I'm sneeping this like there's no tomorrow. Um, so, for example, if we get paired against Burn or something like that, we're probably getting paired against... Is this like, it has to be living end, right? Yeah, it's it's very likely living end. I'm mean, not played against living end in a really long time. Haggle. Oh, it's dredge. Yeah, that also makes sense. Well, that's like a dredge for them for sure. Amalgam Gast. Yeah, we played between endless, but now it wants to put an affiliate and a set of Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I have been just really enjoying the 29 lands, so that's why I've been running them, just because I, they have felt very good. I like the art in this one. The frame is kind of really cool. Hills. Uh, I'm gonna do this main phase so I get to once upon a time right now. I guess, yeah, I'm gonna get the castle because it gives me, if I top deck any TV on top land, I can, I can Titan next turn. Wow, triple reunion is with my opponent Mills. That's hilarious. Is this a start of a new league? Yes, it is, Wormbones. This is game one. We're getting paired against Dredge. So the one thing that I want to draw the most is basically any untapped land. Which will allow me to, to tighten this turn. Hardcast Merchant. That was one minute short there. Uh, but, I mean, my opponent's draw is slow enough that I might still be just fine. Also, they didn't suck any... Oh, oh so they're going to upkeep activate. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There's the Imperi now. They find one chill. But now they're tapped out for the turn. I know three of the six cars in their hand. 
I know about the hills, a loam, and an imp. Am I going to be chomping here? I think I'm probably going to be chomping with the Azusa. I definitely want the scout to, to stay in play. Yeah, I'm probably going to be chomping with the Azusa. Like, I just need to not get cheesed out. Like, if I don't get cheesed out, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to win this game easily. And the way to get cheesed out is if my opponent just like gets a bunch of chills in a single in a single hit. This would be the list that you would submit for a GP? Yes, yes it would. Well that doesn't help me at all. So now with the Titan. Uh, opponent is going to activate Merchant on upkeep. And I'm going to block here, then I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I will die to Ghasts. I still have to though, right? Yeah, I think I need to hold bo hold bog with with scout. It's not about this activate this bog trigger, right? It's about the next bog trigger. That's the one that matters. The one that I get off the the scout. And if I manage to untap, I think I'm going to be fine. Cycle Forgotten Cave Resolves. This is fine. And the Narcomiva is also fine. Yeah, Narcomiba is not enough to pull the trigger. Uh, no, because my opponent cannot have any possible conflagrate, right? Because of the scout. The scout blanks the conflagrate option. So I'm just like diversifying my threats so I can haste the Titan next turn. Uh, huh. Well, I guess now I do bog. Because of the conflag. Now I'm going to take six on the attack. Go down to two. And then have Bog next turn as well, gain some life. How is our record this game? This is game one. Well, they're not going to attack with the merchant. Okay. Why are you moving on to two chests to reveal? What do you think about the double tracker and the cyborg? Um, so I am moving on to the other, into double breeding pool because I'm kind of just like getting a feel for it. It's not because I think it's optimal or or that kind of stuff. It's just I'm trying to get a feel for it and see if I like it or not. And actually, some do because I want to make sure that I tap the bog oh, now because I'm, I'm going to be bouncing the bog for sure so 
So semi growth chamber stronghold bounce land for turn haste attack yes field fountain and now we're gonna get Vesuva copying fountain Vesuva copying fountain and any bounce land so that we have we have instant speed bog activation now we have a bunch of blockers we have instant speed bog all strike with the world how many chills do we have like three but i have instant speed scout so i'm not very worried about it and i'm at eight life so they would need to like mill all of them in very opportune times for them. I also have a Pact of Negation, so I don't care about Conflagrate. Everything's coming mid house. The point is a real warrior, yeah. They also have like all the weird arts for the lands. All the weird arts. I actually like this art a little bit. What is this? Merchant? Yeah, you got it. Stacy says no. No chill for you. Oh, what about the double track on the board? The only reason we only have one. I mean, it's just like if you have the room for it, you can play it. It's a fine card to play. The reason why I only have one is because I don't really feel the need for a second one. Cavern of Souls, go Squatter. And I'm leaving in Rex Age because of Leyline. But I think that this is fine. I could play another Explosives, but I, I don't like the Explosives. I'd rather just have more chances of finding my blog with my cantrips. Sometimes we get pretty against Mill, sometimes against Dredge. Welcome to Modern, I guess. I guess. But I mean, the, the difference is that Dredge is actually a real deck. Like, you Dredge, still to this day, Dredge top 8s consistently. Mill doesn't. <laughs> Nanny Bog. Rex Age because of Leyline. Yeah, White Leyline. What almost is six? Huh. Um I don't think I want to expose my amulet. Not yet. We're probably gonna haggle here. That's fine. That's a lot of lands. That's a lot of lands that got mailed there. Alright, probably the loam here. It could be a reunion. 
Reunion would be pretty good for them. No loan. Foothills, Mesa, Ground. Uh, this is probably enough to bog, I guess. Yeah. Well, never mind. So I guess I'm just... Yeah, I think I'm just going to scout here. And amulet. This is probably going to make my opponent use their mana to answer this. Which I'm okay with. So they're going to have a ton of lands. Crib and chill. That's also fine. Why would you ever be worried about white leyline? Just want to know because I can find it actually no jokes. Uh, because uh, you can't target your opponent with Bojuga Bog while well, they have a white leyline in play. So they're going to kill my Scatterino. <clears throat> no, they actually play the miss. Loam, grounds. Here comes the Dark Blast. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess we bog now. Did you bring only one Bailoff in? Yeah, I did. Just to clog the ground, and um, because I just don't really have any other good cards that I want. Wow, we're really we're really whiffing on this on this land thing, huh? Four draws, four titans. I guess one of the draws was a scout. So four draws, three titans. All we need to find is um. Oh. All we need to find is, um, oof, that's good for them. One bounce land and we win. Uh, castle would also do it. Even if we draw a bounce, even if we draw steerings into, into bounce, we would be good. If we draw once upon a time, then that's not good enough. No one doesn't cut it, but I'm going to play it out anyway. Because now uh, any land actually gets me there. This merchant guy actually does a fair amount of work, if I'm being honest. My Empire for bounds on Kiner, right? Yeah, I'm sick on flag. It's just very funny how this like this setup just goes from zero to a hundred with any land right now <laughs> like we go from like my opponents getting crawling they're ahead they're ahead they're ahead they're getting ahead they're getting ahead. they're dead <laughs> it's just <laughs> from from zero to uh to a hundred very quickly <laughs> what's up dino how you doing and asked if there was any point to holding that in case we draw a gemstone mine next turn, but then realized gemstone also allowed us. Yeah, exactly. So any any land off the top. So um, I'm definitely playing the Toleria there because now if I draw like a Radiant Fountain, a Field of the Dead, it doesn't matter. Like literally any land in my deck just gives me Titan mana. So Bailoff doing a lot of work. I mean, it's it's like it's kind of holding down the fort here. I wouldn't call that doing a lot of work, but I guess it's going to eat a conflag now, which is not bad. No, it's it's always amulet time, Dido, you know that. 
Yeah, so there it goes. There goes the Veloth. Can we draw any of our remaining 23 lands? Yeah, because we sided down to 28. Yeah, any of our 23 lands or uh, one of our four ancient steering. So we have a 23. Okay. Give me, give me that um, drum roll. And GG's. Gonna haste there. Uh, what do I bounce? One, two, three. I'm at 12. Yeah, so I'm just doing a field. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just doing field plus um, field Vesuva copy bug. You got no yard, and I'm out zombieing you now. <clears throat> Don't do me dirty various. To be fair, like there was literally one land in the top five, which is kind of crazy. So my opponent can Merchant here on upkeep if they have another Imp or something like that. They did discard the Imp though, to the um, and both loans to the Conflag. So they could they could Merchant on upkeep if they have another Dredger, but I guess they could technically hit the nuts here. Yep, I mean, they did have another imp. There's one chill. All right, all right, you need some more. But you're definitely in the right track. But now they can't dredge anymore. So they take a natural draw. So that's probably game now. TFW win permanent time base also a Grave Titan. It's not even a Grave Titan, it's just better than a Grave Titan, which is even better. Because a Grave Titan only makes two zombies at a time. Prime time can make even more. I just show my opponent how dead they are. Like you you would think that you're a dead opponent, but you're you would be wrong because you're actually deader than dead. You are much deader than dead. I guess I could pack for Asusa to use the mana that I have. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let's go for overkill instead of just kill. Oh, I, I, whoops. I didn't realize that I don't have double strike. Like, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> it's really not going to matter. Yeah, I, sh I should have played the garrison because now I can't, I don't have double strike mana. Again, I would be perplexed if it did matter, but it was definitely not technically correct. And we all know that technically correct is the best kind of correct, so we're definitely missing on some value here. <laughs> 
I like this deck, but I can't afford Field of the Dead. Um, is Field of the Dead expensive? You mean in Moto? Or in Paper? It's spiked to 10. What? Field of the Dead 23 ticks? Holy crap! Is that because of Pioneer? I mean, it has to be, because it's not because of Standard. <laughs> the classic, let's ban this card, it spikes to five times its original price. That's hilarious. Both mine just has to be an R, yep. Good move. Uh, okay, I'm going to give you this hand. It's definitely a sketcher, but like we have... We have like perfect mana, we have interaction. This hand is really good against control, very good against like dredge and any kind of graveyard deck. And um, the, the second that we draw a titan, we just win the game. Path, my scout. Okay. Sure. Okay. I feel like this were two bucks in Europe, and you should. Oh, cars in Europe are usually cheaper. Yeah, it's it's nice to. Nice to live in Europe, I guess. All right, so if we draw a Titan, we are very likely to win here. We can do a Teleria West, obviously. We can draw. Uh, Ancient Steerings for T West, we can draw once upon a time. We have a ton of good draws here. Pathing Scout is like a free scout activation. Yeah, except that my opponent discards a card as well. <laughs> so it's it's doubly good for, for us. It's twice as good. I mean, that's... Oh, wow. We also get a free path for Azusa? That's a lot of value there. Good a friend in Europe, hopefully it's cheap to mail to the US. I mean that that'd be nice for sure. Opponent drew double path, and they used it on a scout and one Azusa. Hmm. Can we draw a Titan, please? Yes, we can. We just need to ask nicely, you know. If you ask nicely, the Moto Gods are like, "Yeah, yeah, Francisco, you 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 got this. We got you, bro." Haste there, bounce, replay, bounce here, move to combat, attack, Toleria, Sun Home, Double Strike, F6. <coughs> Easy. 16, yeah. All right, so another band deck. You definitely want this. I feel like I want all of these dudes. I definitely want Tracker. I probably want one Bailoff. And I probably want one Force. We're definitely shaving on packs and stuff. We're probably, uh, we're gonna see if my opponent playing it, like Ewit and stuff. And I'm assuming that they are on some band company style deck. So I'm assuming like, you know, collected company and stuff and all coasts and whatnot. Go squatter out, castle out for the reasons that I explained earlier. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's do this. If only the opponent had had one mana removal spell there. Exactly. Yeah, my opponent was so unlucky that they never drew a path. Uh, I like this hand, so I'm going to keep... <laughs> Alright, once upon. Scout, thank you very much. Name Shaman. Is my scout gonna get passed again? That would really suck. Yeah, please don't have a path to exile for my scout opponent. That would be very bad for me. That would be really bad. Oh, oh, your opponent, you're so unlucky. All right, opponent, opponent finds the pro the correct sword there. Yasusa. Out of all the bad draws, this was a not so bad draw. Thoughts on boring in one bailout to discard this sword. That's that's literally why I was considering when well I was doing sideboarding. I don't think it's relevant enough. I don't think it's relevant enough. Oh, nice. We don't need to play around. Um, spell Queller. Noise. Giant. Cast. I could try to haste here. I don't think I'm gonna. I could field. <clears throat> I could field or I could Toleria. I guess I'd rather Toleria. Play Castle, play Fountain. Brutal. All right, we got God. The good thing is we don't even need to discard. <laughs> At least we are not going to have to discard the Sword of Feast of Fat. <laughs> well, I certainly wish I had... I certainly wish I had freaking Field of the Dead in play right now. Stoneforge for Battle Skull. Alright. Green, green, one. Yes. Something good? Have a path for this guy? You don't? Oh, you're so dead, OP. All right, now we do this. Three to transmute, one, two, three, four. Or one mana short. Three to transmute, oh no, we're, we're fine. No, we're not, we're one, one green mana short. Cause I can float from here. So one, two, three, one, 
two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're one green mana short. Brutal. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker! They didn't block? Why? Huh. Surprise, motherfucker! Here comes the sun home. Oh, it doesn't have death touch, that's right. I mean, but it's it's kind of a free block, right? Because of the giver. All right. So we're going to need to discard anyway. So I'm going to play Lando number one. Bounce. Lando number two. Lando number three. Game two. This is my board state. <laughs> Unbanned Summer Bloom. <laughs> Unbanned Summer Bloom. Indeed. We need it. We need Summer Bloom. Yep. Start here. Titan? Looking for a primeval Titan here? Just like that one. Turn three Titan with back to back up, no big deal. Against Tron. Can't can't ever beat a turn one relic of progenitus. It's basically unbeatable. Basically unbeatable. Man thought sees. All right, GG's. I mean, I guess GG for game one because this is not gonna be enough for game two. All right, float mana. So load more mana. Um Oh I can be I can get cute here. I love when I can get cute. It's great. Oh glory fades. Thank you for that tier one sub. Welcome back to the prime time stronghold. Can I get a quick vibe check? I have no idea what that is, but you can certainly get it. Alright. So now we can do Ghost Squatter plus Stronghold Ghost Squatter. And then we can Vesuva copy the Ghost Squatter for value. Stronghold GQ. Just to make sure that it's not only my opponent's hopes that are dead, but also their dreams as well. You know, you gotta make sure you cover both. You need to cover the hopes and you need to cover the dreams as well. Make sure everything's gone. Gotta make sure that everything is gone. Boom. That one. I wanna get that one. Uh, Seikoth, you have one guess. What do you think the league went? How, how do you think the league went? If you had a one guess. 
Oh, the, the vibes are good indeed, Glory Fates. The vibes could not be better. I love how my opponent is like casting nation steerings and like doing game actions. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Like why why are they not conceding? I mean if they're not conceding then I'm If they're not conceding I I, I see no reason to not have some fun here. Not even show them the castle. There we go. They saw, they saw the writing on the wall. Like, oh, I guess I can't. Man, I was so close. That's my opponent say. <laughs> Prime time, vibe time, all the time. That's just how we roll here. That's just how we roll. Um, do, 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 do. 28 lands, good. Nice shape one and one. Let's do this. Mm. I'm gonna have to mulligan this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, yep, the, that that hand is being kept. Don't worry about it. Put a most of five, but they they get their turn to Tron. Simic growth chamber. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Claim <laughs> poggers. Poggers. And this is why you mulligan. Because mulligan is a privilege. Mulliganing is a privilege. Bounce. I'm trying to see if I can play around this member. I assume that my opponent would have dismembered the scout anyway. Um, if I do one, two, three, then I play. I have one mana floating too. Yeah, so I can I can safely play the Azusa. Basically, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And I do have actually enough mana to play this the Asusa safely. Yay. Haste. T West Coast Quarter 
Uh, they search for power plant, yeah. And this should be game. Whoops, oh, I forgot to play one more land. I mean, it's not gonna matter. This game is over. My opponent is literally, literally dead on board. Next turn, I could ram in and block them. That would be hilarious. My opponent really is a fighter. My opponent really is a fighter. Though, I mean, they they basically lost when they when they submitted mismatching basic forests. You're literally dead on board, OP. Literally dead on board. But I'll 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 take it. Three oh six oh. Don't worry about it. Guy paid ten dollars. He gonna play it. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a different art. It's like a promo one. I don't I don't know if they. I think it's like a magic online only. I think it's magic online only. What? Why is it? It's not even here. All right. I guess it's not even magic online only. <laughs> Never mind. Well, yeah, the, it's it's a promo art for for Syrinx. I don't I don't really like it, but my unmatched full arts and snow arts are really annoying. Are you? That's just you're just doing that for value, right? Dragon Breath. You're just like. You're just trying to get some tilt value from your opponents. Because that's not something you do by chance, you know? Like, you need to be. You need to be a messed up mind in order to to do that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this. So we have turn one, scout, and any land gives me titan mana because of the castle, which will come into play on tap, which is nice. Are we looking this over the card version? Yeah, Mundrius. I mean, this is this is the list. Like, if I were playing a GP or something, this is what I would submit. Uh, the only um, things that I'm not sure about are the two breeding pools versus gemstone mines and the chameleon colossus over the third dismember. I'm doing the colossus thing because uh, there's a ton of. Um, there's a ton of um, shadow, Grixis shadow in Magic Online right now, so because of that, I am I am hedging a little bit by having Camille and Colossus in my deck. <clears throat> Burning pool matter in here. Uh, yep, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Man, if we had been on the play, can you imagine if we had been on the play instead of the draw here, and we get to turn to Rexage my opponent expedition map? Oof. Fire. All right, that is something. Um, so I'm gonna steer again. Hopefully, we find another amulet, and if we do find another amulet, then I'm going to expose this one. We don't. Never lucky. Never lucky confirmed. Uh, okay, I'm gonna T-West here. Uh, let's say that my opponent is on a green car, on a green Tron. And they Karn me next turn, which would be the absolute worst case scenario, I think. If that's the case, then I think that I would rather play out the amulet here and my opponent minus in on the amulet. Because I would still be able to. Because I would still be able to get him. So my opponent could Karn minus on this. Like the only play that they have that's correct is to minus on the amulet. Otherwise, I can tighten them next turn, which is great. How much is pool right now? I have no idea. Uh, in terms of money or in like in. Um, 
I mean, I assume that is in, in terms of money, but you mean like in, in moto or in paper? <clears throat> I hope they man the crap out of Simic in standard so you can buy more running pools. Hopefully. That would be nice. Oh! This member? Yeah. Huh. The fact that they only had a uh, smasher is definitely very, very good for me. Tack, yes. And we're gonna get Ghost Squatter. We have a T West already, so I guess I want a green source so I can play the scout right now. Mm -hmm. Which green source is better? I don't want it to be a Simic Rose because I want to have more lands in play for field for next turn. So I think it's just going to be a Breeding Pool. I guess a Gemstone Mine would be better because I already have a Breeding Pool in hand. So a Gemstone Mine could potentially be relevant. And I am going to... Um, I'm going to destroy the Ursus Mine right now. Um, so my opponent cannot use the one mana from the wastes that they're gonna get uh, in order to sack the expedition map. So now they will need to use, you know, two lands, which means they will have at most five mana available for them. Pool is like twenty bucks right now. That's ridiculous! Wow, that's brutal. That's really expensive. Yeah, had to. I think that at this point, considering. I do think that Eldrassi Tron was bad Tron a while ago. I agree with that. Uh, but at this point, since the printing of Karn the Great Creator and how, how people have been tuning their their um, their um, e-tron lists, I think that it's just foolish to call this bad Tron. Like, it's just... It's just not considering actual evidence, you know? Like, I think that Eldrassi Tron is actually just a good deck. It's definitely the best mid-range deck in the format, like by a fair amount. I bought a playset of the Shocks when the new girls came out, and it saved me so much money between other trades. Yeah, for sure, Dragon Breath. All right, I, this, if this is all my opponent can do, then we're fine. So we're gonna be able to just double strike and attack. For a bunch. I want to hold the Sage in hand because the only way that I get cheesed out is if my opponent does the play that I explained earlier, which is... Um, which is... Um, Titan... Um, Karn the Great Creator into a Snare Bridge. I guess that I could also technically get Lattice locked. Oh, but I, if I do, then the Titan just wins. So that's fine. So I attack, I get Sun Home Field. So I'm not going to be able to put the percent lethal, unfortunately. This is still probably beyond what my opponent can do to win this game anymore. <clears throat> yeah, 
If they block like this, they die. Yeah, they need to double block. Double chomp, basically. Um, so... I can just mute for Pact of Negation here. One, two, three, four, play TUS, yeah. Okay. So that's a lethal attack. And I play this. The very rare transmit for Pact of Negation against the Drassitron. Do you think I'm going is at risk of getting... No, I don't think so, Pedro. Yeah, yeah, my killer has been doing really good with Etron. I mean, the the trophy leader is... I think they I think they play... I don't know if exclusively Etron, but they play mostly Etron for sure. Field, Tracker, Excavator, Forces, and Veilots. Do, 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 do. Uh, one explosive is fine. Definitely shave on one drops. Uh, no stroke. Nope. I I don't like having situational cards against uh, my opponent's deck. So I see, I see a Drassi Tron closer to Jund than I than I see them closer to actual Tron, and I wouldn't want to have counter magic against Jund. Like we're not trying to play like a control game. We're just the superior mid range deck. Also, they play Cavernousals. <laughs> Opponents I'm trying to figure out the sideboarding plan. Mm. Yeah, this hand gets kind of host by Chalice on one. But it's fine. We can castle on one, play scout. Then we can gain some um, some life with fountain. And I'm gonna once upon here because like if we kind of whiff, but at least exactly, but at least we find a forest. Now we can basically speed up the process by one turn. Which obviously it's perfect for us. Battery shaper, unbeatable. Basically unbeatable. Yeah, so unless if my opponent doesn't have a thought not right now, and we're going to very easily win this game. <clears throat> yeah, that's a thought not here. <laughs> that's exactly what they needed. Good for them. Good for them. All right, Motobug, I need you. Motobug, I need you. Eh, that's actually not terrible. 
I like that for sure. Oh, thank you, Bird Lord. Yeah. Glad, glad that you're here. Welcome to the stream. Sure would have been gas. Uh, they're just saying, except it wouldn't have been in my hand. <laughs> because I wouldn't have had stroke over any of the cars that I that I drew so far. So, just saying. <laughs> what do you think about Oko in the server? I played two last week and they felt necessary. And that's exactly my, my thoughts as well, Nemanja. Those are exactly my thoughts. It just seems very unnecessary. If my opponent offers a trade with a thought knot, I think I take it, right? That basically negates all of my opponent's pressure. That negates all of my opponent's pressure and it gives me another card when I am already drawing two, three. So, yeah, I like it. Okay. Good, I don't want to buy four locals. Yeah. <laughs> it was the top four local tournament with your list. Of oh, sweet, uh, Birdlord. That's awesome. Congratulations. They'll drop hard in a week or two. Uh, I'm waiting for them to, like, drop a little. They are already, like, people are expecting them to get banned today. And they are already much lower than they used to be. Like they are 42 bucks right now. Wow, they do offer the trade. Yeah, I think I actually take this trade. I think I do trade I do take this trade. Flashing castle. Practically. All right, trade, another scout, another TKS. I mean, that's that's definitely worst case scenario, but not much to do about that, huh? Point is down to one card, still chilling at 18 life, so that's good. Ballista. Poggers. Um, yeah, so I'm going to play my breeding pool, but that is so I can trigger field here. Field of the Dead, Tillery West. Gosh, I love this deck. <laughs> I mean, that's why you play 11 copies of this card, right? <laughs> that's why you play 11 copies of Primeval Titan, right? 4080. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The fact that we are currently 9 and 1 after we got paired against Mill twice in a row is kind of mind blowing. Uh, have I done that before? Yeah, I, I've done it on stream multiple times. Dragon Breath. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> I mean, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? Like, it's not much of. I, I don't believe in like jinxing and stuff. I mean, I do. I will say stuff like that for fun, but I, I don't believe that jinxing. If it's gonna happen, I'm gonna do my best. And if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And if it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Imagine an Eldrassi Temple for Giants. I mean, it's basically Castle Garenbrig. That's what that is. The fact that it taps for exactly six green mana, it's basically Eldrassi Temple for Giants. Like, that's literally what it is. We already have a 5-0 league before. No, we 4-1 the first league after we got paired against Mill twice in a row, somehow. 
And this is the second league, and we're currently 4 0 8 0. That is a good way to look at it. I mean, basically, right? We're, we're not casting prime time for five, right? So it only matters when it when it taps for six. So the fact that it taps for one extra mana when you when you need it is just absurd. It doesn't always enter and tap. That's fair, but you know, amulet helps with that. Wow, people are afraid, huh? Maybe I need to rethink my stance on castle. I mean, if you don't like castle, then I have no idea what, like, I don't know why. In this version, like, this version is kind of built to maximize ca uh, castle's value. Uh, this hand needs too much. This is already a mulligan, and this hand needs, like, both a titan, lands. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, this one is better we're on the draw okay i'm gonna keep and i'm gonna bottom the pact of negation burn it's crazy how often i get paired against burn for the for the five and oh So I'm not going to have Blue Man. I think I'm just going to get Rex Sage here. Because Ilo would actually be quite annoying. So I'd rather have just like the stupid 2-1 body. You can take Kali from my cold dead hands. Fair. I do love me some Kali Garden as well. So I can't really fault you for that, Dr. Jack. I do love me some some gardens of the Kalni variety. I could pack for Azusa here. Let's think for a second. I feel like I have to. Yeah, I think it's necessary for me to back to wrestles like here. I need to not fall behind. And the way to do it is to wrestles like here. Float some mana. Bounce here. Play stronghold. Play turf. Hold my Asusa. Nice. So we're gonna once upon end step. We're gonna play Stronghold. I might cut second castle for Kalni. I also like Mainic Veloth over Sage, but that just made my mid. Yeah, Colby, that's for sure. Yeah, you, you can you can adapt with that. You can like switch around. And see see what you like best, obviously. Oof, this is this is pretty bad. Yeah, I might actually just be dead here. Like my opponent's draw was a little bit too good for me. Like any two spells kill me? And I still don't have a Titan. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Now any any one spell kills me here. They don't have it. And one minute short. This is brutal. Technically I have three blockers. So 
so I uh, yes play Asusa play Asusa one two three four five six that's three to transmute Asmod, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold. Enjoy your emotes and thank you for the support. Um, so I can Asusa, Transmute for Titan, Scout and Sage. I can do everything. Now... Is that the only line that I have available to me? I think it is. So. Play a Susa. Six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, right. One, two, three to transmit. One to scout, and three to sage. Okay, so we have exactly enough mana. So basically, I need my opponent to not have anything somehow, like for their hand to be like an idol on or whatever. So, Scout, Sage, yeah, I would like to not destroy my own thing, <laughs> and Summon Respect, go. Alternatively, I could have uh, transmitted for Radiant Fountain, but then I just die, right, so. How can I get the Cyber on Discord? Um, the way to do that is to, okay, so we just died. Um, you need to uh, link your Twitch. First of all, you need to join my Discord. The first link over there. After you do, you need to link your um, your Twitch and your Discord accounts. In You need to go to settings and do some stuff there. And after you do that, then you need to uh, wait for a couple of hours. And then it will automat automatically update. Man, our our clean our clean record blemished. Feels bad, man. I like this hand though. I wanna keep wanna keep seven. So very lucky. Should have kept your hands in his hand there because you are dead to anything, so Um, I think I could Titan plus Haste and do stuff anyway, right? So it's not like I need it. Alright. Asus is actually not horrendous there. So now I can ramp anyway, even if my scout dies. Why would they go for basic mountain? Primeval Titan. No blocks. Need to kill this right now. You don't. All right. You're dead now. Oh, 
Of course, I'm not attacking into open mana. Because it's not my first rodeo. Um, I think on the Simic Fountain. See what my opponent has. See if they have the um, skull crack. And we can also Asusa. And if they don't have skull crack, then we're gonna have a ball here. <clears throat> so we're gonna float mana, we're gonna bounce semi growth, play Asusa, and then play T West and play Simic. Lining Helix my Asusa. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> that that resolves. Alright, you got me. How am I ever going to beat Lightning Helix and Azusa? <laughs> the trifecta. All right, so my opponent is now officially dead. <laughs> Better concede to that. It's over now, I know. GG's opponent. Um, Stronghold. Cruel Turf, I guess. Haste there. Bounce here. And bounce there. Combat, attack, yes. <clears throat> Field T West. It doesn't really matter what I get here, I guess I'm just gonna double strike. Like that. I link Twitch and Discord, and I joined in both two communities. So I wait two hours, and nope, uh, you will find you will simply you will realize Asmo that your name will. So let let me let me show you real quick. Um, that's not it. This is what I was looking for. So, whoops. Uh, this is my Discord, the Prime Time Stronghold Discord. Yep. So you see your name will become red, just like Vince's right here. And then you will get access to these this sub channels. This will only be uh, viewable by you if you are a, a sub. So that is, that is how you do it. Um, I'm gonna change, no, I'm not changing anything. Mm, nope, we could submit. All right, for the Fabo. All right, we're gonna keep this one. I'm not excited about this hand, but it's certainly a keep. 
Um, we get... We're a little bit tight and flooded here. Yeah, Siren Blaze here, it's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Engineer the explosives is what I reveal. That's hilarious. We're definitely chum blocking here. I'm blowing this up next turn. Oh, they have the smash. That's brutal. No more carts. Sakura Tribe Scout. No more carts. My opponent has a Rift Bolt. Um, I think I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to pack for Bayloth. I guess I can chump next turn, actually. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna block. I'm just gonna take six here. And then I think I'm gonna pack on upkeep. Because I don't want to draw that scout, because it's not gonna do anything. Obsinate Bailoff. Now we draw Asusa. That doesn't change anything. We're still bailoting here. So now we have a brick wall. The attack. Asusa. Wow, my, my draws have been so bad. My draws have been horrid. Eidolon. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just like... I just whiffed. For all the time. Not a single land drawn off of like 20 Goblin Guide triggers. All right. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I know. I don't think I've ever beaten Burn for the 5-0, which is hilarious. And I feel like I've never lost to Burn not for the 5-0. <laughs> We jinxed the 5-0, oh, yeah. I mean, that 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 hand that was, was fine, I think. It's just... My opponent's hand was great. I mean, I could have not exposed... If I don't expose the explosives to the... To the, um, to the smash to smithereens, I think I easily win that game. So maybe I got a little bit greedy there. But I was, like, I was kind of set on using my mana to bail off on the following turn. So maybe I should have, uh, maybe I, I should have just, like, held there and just not do anything. Just uh, chump, instead of plan to, instead of plan to bail off there, just, like, basically reassess and plan to, uh, plan to use uh, the explosives. Yeah, because I, I easily win that game, basically. I strand a dead card in my opponent's hand. I killed my opponent's clock. Yeah, I think we easily win that game if I do that. Yeah, maybe I got a little bit hasty there. I was kind of set on on going for the Bailoff play on turn three. Yeah, if if I had taken it a little bit slower, I think we would we would have won that one. So that was that was that was definitely a punt. That was definitely a punt there. 
sucks. Anyway, back to back four on ones. It's not something to to be too ashamed of. Um, something certainly worth analyzing, you know. Because um, again, like I would have found a better line if I had, you know, thought about it a little bit harder. Uh, but yeah, still good, good stream, good record. As I was saying, this is the list that I would that I would register if I would if I were playing <clears throat> if I were playing in an event this weekend. I think that this is this list is very very powerful. And the only thing that I am that I am debating is the split between breeding pool and gemstone mine. Um, I it, it's very possible that I just want all four gemstone mines, and I don't want bringing pools at all. And uh, Camelion Colossus versus this member, like for example, this league in in today's stream, we only brought we only brought the Colossus in in one match because we only faced Shadow once, and we didn't face any Jund or anything like that. So there's definitely, but we did play Shadow four times last on on my last stream. So it's one of those things that you know. I am metagaming against what I play, but you know, sometimes you just don't play against that and then you get screwed. Um, but yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for checking out the stream. Uh, please uh, make sure you remember to like, subscribe, and you know, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.